Hello everyone. Today we have a Manmeet Singh for sharing his experience on Fulbright Clam Fellowship. So he is scientist C at the Center of for Climate Change Research, IITM Pune, since 2013. He was a Fulbright Clam Fellow at the Jackson School of Geosciences, University of Texas, at Austin in 2021. So I would like to welcome Manmeet Singh for quick discussion regarding his experience related to the Fulbright Clam Fellowship. So welcome and meet here. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Sukhpal. Thank you. Yeah. So I would like to start with some few questions so that you can share your experience, whatever happened to uh, when you were the uh, full ride clown fellowship uh, at U UT Austin. So I would like to start with the first question, basic question like, why do you consider yourself as a researcher? So I consider myself as a researcher because it's it's it's, it's in my it's in my it's, it's my passion. I like doing, uh, I like searching for new new stuff uh, or analyzing the data, trying to find out stories from the data and trying to understand what, what happens in the clouds, in the ocean, over the land. So like, these are, these, this is my passion. So that's, that's why I call myself as a researcher. Yeah. So what did you do immediately after completing Fulbright Clam Fellowship from UT Austin? So please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I I was uh, I went for a Fulbright Kalam doctoral fellowship, and this fellowship is for the students uh, who are already enrolled in a PhD in India. And so I when I came back uh, came came back from uh, the Fulbright Kalam fellowship uh, at which I which I pursued at UT Austin. So I I worked towards submitting my PhD and now I have submitted my thesis and I'm awaiting my defense. Indeed. So how did you find your current program? What resources and methods did you find most useful during this fellowship? So uh, can you can you please come again? Yeah. How did you find your current program? So maybe you can answer first this one and first is uh, like what resources and methods did you find most useful which you have okay. uh, less yeah, so, so, yeah, so so the way I found out this program was through uh, internet search. I and and through a couple of uh, other researcher friends who had applied for Fulbright Kalam Fellowship in the years prior to me. And I would like to emphasize for the people who are interested in in uh, applying for future uh, Fulbright Fellowships that the most important component of your application is your uh, is your SOP, is your uh, scientific proposal. Is your uh, are your recommendations? So you have to work hard on it. So I had to work at least a week nonstop, like dedicatedly towards the application. And uh, even after that, so I, I just I just put in my all my effort into it. But then uh, I was like, I, I know that a lot of uh, talented people they apply for for these kind of fellowships. So I just gave my gave my uh, all my efforts and I forgot about it. Uh, so I, I got the call for the interview. So there were uh, I, so there were 16 around 16 candidates called uh, to Delhi for the interview. Out of which only four were selected. All of them I would say were were very talented, uh, were excellent uh, in their research profile. And so we have to justify or so it eventually it boils down to what is your what is your research uh, proposal? What is what is it that you are trying to do? What kind of impact? That has on the society. So I would suggest uh, the the future researchers who would be applying to such fellowships to to focus to to just forget or don't don't distract yourself. Don't get troubled about what others are doing. Just focus on your application and uh, hopefully you will make it through. Yeah, excellent. So are you able to utilize any skills or knowledge from the Fulbright Clam Fellowship in your day to day activities? Like now you are doing research. So how you are using that that experience in these days? So I I was actually very fortunate to uh, first of all get selected to Fulbright Kalam Fellowship. Further to have exposure in a in a university like uh, University of Texas at Austin, which is which is a world class university, and I got the exposure uh, there uh, talking to uh, or interacting with with uh, with big professors i even had a chance to give a talk at uh, nasa space flight center so i had a chance to interact with the scientists from nasa 
and i have the kind of learnings that i have uh, received from from this fellowship it's it's i would say it has completely changed me as a person and i'm using uh, those the skills that i have learned in in every aspect of my day to day life yeah 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 that's brilliant so can you please explain how receiving this kind of fellowship made a difference to your personal life uh so in my in my personal life uh, so the way it it's it's difficult i would say that uh, this like getting into uh, or applying to such fellowships and and then uh, going abroad and staying away from the family is difficult but i would say that it it these kind of fellowships they grow you as an individual and once you grow it it's it's like it's like a cascading effect so your the people around you the the so it's 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 you just take it just uplifts everybody so yeah it it's got some kind of uh, the harder you work it's it's difficult uh, to balance between uh, the personal life and the professional life but i would say that it's uh, it's it's worth it to to for such such kind of fellowship interesting so have you faced any failures or tough time during your fellowship or maybe once you come came back to india so is, is there any challenge you would like to share here uh yeah so i i would say that any any successful person so these days uh, uh the failure failure cvs or failure resumes are getting uh, a lot popular and i would say behind every every successful person is is a list of failures is a list of rejections so just like every every successful person i would not call myself as a very successful person or somebody great but i would say that i have had my list of failures and i have had my list of rejections uh, but we we should always learn from those those kind of rejections and they should make us humble and the success should not uh, let we, we should not let ego uh, come into us so i i have had a lot of failures in my in the work that i do in the analysis that i do in the in the approach approaches that that i do so lot more failures uh, yeah uh, small amount of success so that's the recipe to to go forward yeah yeah that's brilliant so what tips do you have for the students who are intending to pursue the fulbright clam fellowship like major or special concentration they have to think about when they will apply in the future so what kind of message you would like to give to the youngsters yeah so the message message that i would like to give to the to the future applicants or to the to the youngsters is is that please uh, focus on your research try to build a good research profile and you focus on the application of you you should also try to approach a a us university professor because you would need an invitation from the from uh, from the us university professor but at the core of it is is your uh, is your research proposal so if your research proposal is has weight if it is if it is really worth it the the selection committee will will definitely uh, identify the worth of it so please focus on on your research proposal on your essays on your recommendation letters on your application that's the first step and then then be be natural like don't try to don't try to uh, make things up or don't uh, don't try to overestimate the or underestimate the the impact of the kind of work that you do so i would i would my suggestion would be that work hard be natural and uh, give it your best yeah yeah that's really useful and uh, so what kind of message you have given so thank you very much for sharing your research experiences so i wish you very good luck for your future endeavors and thank you very much for your time thank you manmeet thank you thank you so much uh, professor supal it was a pleasure talking to you and uh, thank you so much for organizing this thank yeah. you good luck thank you very much